The QC12K series CNC hydraulic swing beam shearing machine equipped with the E21S controller has an all-steel welded structure and has undergone vibration aging and heat treatment to eliminate internal stress, so it has excellent rigidity and stability. It uses precision sliding guides to eliminate guide gaps and achieve higher shearing quality. Today, let's talk about how to install and use it. 1. Equipment Fixing When you receive the QC12K series shearing machine, the first thing you need to do is to place it in the working position you need. Of course, this position is preferably a horizontal and solid concrete floor. Install three front support supports in sequence. Please note that the front support support with a ruler needs to be installed on the far right side of the machine. Place the level ruler horizontally above the second front support support. Adjust the height of the anchor screws on the right front and left front of the machine body in sequence. Keep the scale of the level ruler horizontal. Then place the level ruler vertically above the first front support support. Adjust the height of the anchor screws on the right rear of the machine body. Keep the scale of the level ruler horizontal. Finally, place the level ruler vertically above the third front support support. Adjust the height of the anchor screws on the left rear of the machine body. Keep the scale of the level ruler horizontal. At this point, the machine body is in a horizontal working surface state. 2. Power Connection Before connecting the power supply, check the capacity of the hydraulic oil through the hydraulic oil inspection port on the back of the machine body to ensure that it is not less than half of the height of the inspection port. Connect the three-phase AC power line and the grounding line in sequence. Turn on the main power switch on the side of the electric cabinet. Turn on the emergency stop switch on the top of the foot switch. On the controller panel, turn on the emergency stop switch, main power switch and lighting switch in sequence and start the oil pump. Observe the direction of the main motor of the oil pump from the right rear of the machine body. Clockwise is normal and counterclockwise is abnormal. If the main motor rotates counterclockwise, it is necessary to turn off the oil pump and all power supplies. After swapping the line sequence of any two power lines in the three-phase power line, continue the previous operation. Turn on the main power switch on the side of the electric cabinet. Turn on the emergency stop switch on the top of the foot switch. On the controller panel, turn on the emergency stop switch, main power switch, and lighting switch in sequence, and start the oil pump. At this point, the shearing machine enters the standby state. 3. Manual mode. After the shearing machine enters the standby state, continuously click the P key of the controller to enter the single interface and enter the XP, DX, PP, DLY, and CP values required for the shearing machine to work in sequence. After the input is completed, just click the green start button. 4. Gap adjustment. On the left rear side of the machine body, there is a manual gap adjustment dial. We can adjust the gap by multiplying the thickness of the plate we need to cut by 0.1. 5. Programming mode. After the shearing machine enters the standby state, continuously click the P key of the controller to enter the Programs interface. Select a blank program. Click the Confirm button to enter the editing state. Enter the ST, PP and DLY values of the program in sequence. By clicking the Write button, you can edit each step. After editing, switch to the first step and click the green start button. If you want to work continuously, just select the conversion button on the control panel. 6. Plate cutting. Use a wrench to adjust the three ribs on the left side of the first front support to the appropriate height. Put the metal plate to be sheared close to the rib on the left side into the throat of the shearing machine and push the metal plate inward until it touches the rear stop. Step on the foot switch, and the shearing machine will complete the shearing operation under the action command.
If you're interested in our videos, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in purchasing our hydraulic swing beam shearing machine, please don't hesitate to contact us or visit our website, www.krs.com. Thank you for watching.